Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina. And in today's video, I just wanted to share with you a flip through of the brand new Math Level 7 from The Good and the Beautiful. We have been highly anticipating the Math Level 7 from The Good and the Beautiful. We've been so excited since we heard they would be coming out with it because my 12 year old is using level six, we'll be finishing up level six, and we did not wanna to have to switch him to a different curriculum for math when he is so used to the good and the beautiful and it's working so well for him. So I did take a sneak peek at this already because I was so excited to see it. And one thing that I noticed and loved right away is that it's broken up into four different books as opposed to one giant math book. So this is something that I hope the good and the beautiful does more of in the future. So as you can see, the table of contents shows you all of the different lessons in the first unit, tells you what the concepts are that are covered, and then some ideas that I've seen other people do is that they'll actually decide, okay, if there are four units, then where do I need to be at each point in the school year to help kind of stay on track? So you could write like a date. Um, so it gives you the supplies that you'll need for the course, the course overview, how to get started, some lesson details, um, the website to get the video lessons or using the QR code for the app. It is one of my favorite things about the Good and the Beautiful Math are the video lessons, but then also the physical course book. So there are frequently asked questions here, and then you have the lesson topics for all four of the units, even though this one is just for unit one, so it gives you a nice overview for the whole course. And then here is just the unit one overview in terms of the concepts that are covered in lessons one through 30. So I really like the way these lessons are set up because although it's a little bit more mature than the younger years, the formatting is very similar and the flow. So they have their warm up, they have their lesson, which again is the video lesson. And one thing that I was really excited to see is this video notes section. So as our children become more and more independent in certain subject areas, I love that they can go through the video, but they have something to help them stay on track. Then there is the written lesson overview so that they can go back and re review it, or maybe they even read it first um, and then do the video and they can kind of find what works for them. There are example problems and then they get to their practice problems. And so it's very clean but also does still have the color and beauty that you are used to seeing from the good and the beautiful which i love but it does look a bit more mature so that is kind of growing with them and i feel like it's a great transitional look between going from elementary and sort of like upper elementary concepts and style into this more middle school feel without being a huge jump because sometimes I think you see this huge jump where it's unfamiliar and different and they don't kind of have that familiar feel to it. So I love that this does have a familiar feel while also having a little bit more of a mature feel. So while I don't feel like a full detailed flip through of every single page is necessary because you kind of get the rhythm and flow and formatting and style, of the course i do want to just point out a couple things that are in here some main components of the unit i noticed that it did touch on logic which i thought was really great and important especially in some of these transitional years understanding those concepts and i also liked that those pages stood out as being a little bit more fun and colorful so I like that it still has those aspects that we know and love from the good and the beautiful it isn't just this black and white boring feel um, but still engaging especially my 12 year old is an artist he's a very visual learner and so I think he appreciates those aspects of their products as well um, just like me I'm very visual also and as you get to the back this is where you're going to find um, your reviews and your unit assessments and some charts and things like that back here. There's also some extra enrichment lessons after the assessment. So I kind of like that it doesn't end with the assessment. So here's the review and they have it as like a fun escape room. Again, I love how they make it fun and engaging and interactive while still having a mature feel to it. 
And then here is the unit one assessment. And then this is this sort of enrichment piece that I mentioned. This doesn't have a video that goes along with it and it really just is something to kind of end on an enriching note and not going from like assessment straight to the next unit. So I kind of like that transitional piece and then you have your reference charts in the back. So let's take a quick look at unit two, even though we have sort of a feel for things, it is set up very much the same, except you don't have all the introductory materials. It starts with just the table of contents for unit two itself, and then does go over the concepts covered and then jumps right into the lessons. And it is formatted just the same. They've just broken it up into four different books. And then again, in the back, you have that enrichment component. You you have the unit two assessment, the unit two review, which also looks fun. Um, this one focuses on Chinese New Year. So I like, again, how it makes it fun and interactive. And before that, you have a mixed review. This one looks kind of fun too. So that kind of gives you a feel for unit two set up very much the same as unit one, just a continuation of the course. Let's take a peek also at unit three. Again, follows the same format, jumps right to the table of contents for unit three. You have all of your assessments and things at the end. You can see what concepts they'll end off with in the unit. The concepts covered and then the lessons are set up just the same. In the back, you have your charts and your enrichment lessons. You have your assessment for unit three you have your fun review this one is spring cleaning looks interesting and that is unit three so let's take a quick peek at unit four this one is going to be a little bit different um, but also very similar. You have lessons 91 through 120, jumping right to the table of contents for unit four, set up just the same. You can kind of see where you end up with the course in terms of concepts covered. And then if you jump to the back, of course, you have your reference chart. The difference here is at the very end, you're going to have your course assessment. So you're ending the course you have your final assessment here. You also have enrichment at the very end. So again, you're not ending with the assessment, which I kind of think is nice, but you have your course assessment and then you have your course review, but then you also have this fun unit review, which is about summer Bible camp. So again, that looks fun and interactive and that is unit four. So that sums up the course books, but then you also have the answers and solutions, which for me is really important because math is not my strength. And this is the one of the reasons why I love the good and the beautiful math so much. The simply good and the beautiful math makes my life so much easier and less intimidating for me as the homeschool mom. So even this answer and solutions key is user friendly and visually appealing and kind of easy to look at. Um, especially for the parent who does not love math and is not strong in this subject. So you have, of course, your answer keys for all of the lessons as well as all of the assessments and the reviews. So you could choose to have your child check their answers first, or you could check them. That's kind of something that is going to be at your discretion, but I feel like this is super helpful to have in a hard copy and for us to easily access the answers or for struggling with something we can kind of take a look and get the help that way. Lastly, I feel like it's a really awesome addition that they have included the math scratch pad so that they have the graph paper that they need and everything ready to go for the course, for all four units and the assessments. So I hope you found this helpful to get a sneak peek at Math 7. You can find this at the link in the description box below so you can check it out a little bit more 
see the video lessons and what they look like. This is also available as a free digital download so you could purchase the hard copy or get it for free at thegoodandthebeautiful.com. Let me know in the comments if you've used The Good and the Beautiful for math and if you have any questions. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay rooted.